Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today. I do truly appreciate it. Today I get to talk a little bit about Kolchak, the Night Stalker. Sort of. I've got a new graphic novel that's come in the mailbox that I ordered through a Kickstarter campaign through a fellow named James Aquilone. He did, he did a book, a collection, that I really loved and that was Classic Monsters Unleashed that I backed and I got uh, 2021, I think. I did a video on this, so you can look it up and find it. But uh, one of the next projects that he got involved in was called Kolchak, The Night Stalker, 50th Anniversary Graphic Novel. And as a big fan of Kolchak, Darren McGavin's TV series, I had to jump in, I had to get it. My mom was a huge fan of this show, and therefore, vicariously, I became a huge fan of this show. And when I was able to get the set on DVD, I had to jump, I had to take it. But just a little bit about my Kolchak collection, which is meager to say the least. I do have the original, technically, it's not a novelization, it's a novel. The novel that the screenplay was based on, even though the novel came out after the first episode of the of the series. So it's even got a picture of Darren McGavin on the front, but the novel came first. And then The Night Strangler. So a couple of Jeff Rice novels. And then finally, I picked this up from Gauntlet Press. I think I got this also last year a sort of a comic or a graphic novel however you describe it but i really bought this one because it was signed in person by jeff rice himself so i couldn't pass up on that opportunity to get a signature i wish i could have gotten my little novels there signed but this one is my only jeff rice signature now that that's out of the way moonstone books in conjunction with James Aquilone, came up with a Kickstarter for this right here, and the book has come in the mail. It is here. Let's take a look how it's packaged. So you got a little extra gap on the ends, which obviously paid off. Hopefully it protected my book, but those corners take a beating, and they kind of did. So hopefully the extra material at the end protects the book that you're buying that's packed in the middle there, and hopefully it did a good job. I got a shipping notice for this book, so it wasn't a, a complete surprise. And here it is. I'm excited to take a look. Sometimes with Kickstarters, I find myself not really sure what I'm actually going to get when the book shows up. Now, I think, I think what I checked off was a signed hardcover edition of this book. But we're going to find out. You're going to find out just as i do so here's my box goodbye and it feels like a hardcover book wrapped in a bubble mailer a bit a bit bigger than i expected but it's kind of the size of a comic book so it's kind of neat here adding a little something to my meager night stalker cold jack collection but take a look at this beautiful cover artwork i do love it it looks right for the time and uh, there's the spine. Man, it looks good. 50th anniversary. Kolchak the Night Stalker. Moonstone Books. Man, I just like that cover art. Edited by James Aquilone. And there's the back. Man, I'm pleased already. I haven't even opened the mother up. And I'm pleased. I believe this level or tier on the, the Night Stalker book through Kickstarter was $70. It is signed in person by artist J.K. Woodward, and it comes with, well, there's the, there's the signature right there, and it comes with a small little print card signed on the back by James Aquilone, the editor of the book. So a nice signed edition. I think that's what I signed up for, signed hardcover. And I'm not sure how many of these were printed, but there were only so many available and I got one, so I'm going to set this aside so it doesn't keep falling out. And let's just take a look. So again, there's my signed end pages. They're all black. Let's, there's our frontispiece. There's a whole lot of art from a whole lot of folks. And I'll try to see who all did what we got. There is our table of contents right here. 
if you want to quickly check, pause, look at the table of contents there. We have The Funny Place, writer David Avalon, artist Julie Oda, and colorist Zach Atkinson. There's a whole bunch. I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm not going to read all this stuff off. If you want to take a look, there you go. But there's the credits for the writing, the credits for the artwork, and let's take just a quick look and see some of these stories. The introduction, and there's there's our guy, the, the newspaper reporter who always finds himself chasing monsters. He always solves the solves the, the riddle. He always gets the evidence, and the evidence is always taken. So it never ends up proving anything except for to him and the conspirators who are trying to hush it up or quiet it down or get rid of the story altogether. And I just want to take a look here. We're not going to read the story, but I want to take a look through here and show you some of the illustrations in this book. I, I already strongly recommend it for any Kolchak fan. Fans of good comic, fans of graphic novels, man, this is some cool stuff here. It is so neat. I'm glad to have this one in the mail. And quite frankly, I've forgotten that I ordered it until I got an email reminder recently talking about the uh, the extras or whatever, the stuff that was going to be coming out soon. And then I got the tracking, the shipping information telling me that my book was en route. Look at here, look at here. So much illustration. I'm not going to be able to show you a whole lot of it, but there are so many cool things in here. And it's thick, strong, good paper, and nice color pictures, glossy. A lot of artists, so it gives you quite a variety. It's probably, hopefully, going to check, wow, check some of your boxes on what you like, what you like the most. And uh, I dig it, man. I dig it the most. Seeing so many cool things, so many cool images in here, illustrations. I'm going to have to do some reading, do some studying, and I'm in for a treat. So are you if you got one coming. Hopefully you do. If you don't, I think I think you can order soft cover versions of this, maybe even a hardcover version. But just Google it, James Aquilone, Moonstone Books, Kolchak, stuff like that. You'll find it online. And I, I definitely saw soft covers for sale. You could even request that the soft covers be signed by editor James Aquilone. So there's there are a lot of options that are still available. And uh, Escape from Wisconsin. So we, even some different type of storytelling it looks like in the back. On the Road with Carl. So it's not all comics. It's not all graphic novels. It looks like we have some short stories in here as well. So it, this is a 100% a book that should satisfy all. Should give us all a little something of what we like and something of what we need as long as you're a fan. Lots and lots of stories in the back. So just by looking at the end, it looks slightly more than half being comic or graphic novel and then maybe slightly less than half Looks like it might be short story format. Man, look at there. Golly, look at that image. That looks so cool. I'm really pleased. Did I say that already? I don't know. I'm really pleased with what I got. In the back, there's a whole lot of artwork. Let's check it out and see what it looks like. What else? What else? Here we go. Both color and black and white. Man, this is cool. Better than expected. That's what we'll say. That's what I'll say and leave it at that. Better than expected. Very pleased and a nice addition to what I've called the meager Kolchak collection. And there's an episode list. Looks like episode list for Kolchak, the Night Stalker TV series, which is available on DVD somewhere. I can't remember where I got it, where I found it, but I got a set for my mom. And then I started feeling like, dang, I should have bought one for myself. So I went back bought it for myself and there we go but it is a beautiful graphic novel i can't recommend it enough worth the money hope you like it i hope you get one all that kind of stuff anyway thank you for your time i do appreciate it i can think of no more lies to tell so say la vie baby doo-doo